Hello, how's it going? Welcome, welcome, welcome. Wow, we just went live on Shop Shops, that was crazy. And now we're going live with Suzanne Schwartz, jewelry. I'm really excited to see her. We're gonna be trying on, a t oh, here she is. We're trying on a ton of jewelry. Get her in here, hold on. Okay, I'm putting, all right, hi, family. Hi, everybody, thanks for being here. I'm trying to wave to you. Hi. Hi. I'm not used to the small screen. Different, right? <laughs> yeah, it is. Do I turn it? No, I think you're fine. Okay. I, I know don't you can't turn it because if you turn it, it'll make it'll do something weird. Okay. I'm just going to lower it. Gotcha. How was your how was your last live? It was good. Yeah. It, I wanted to see it. It was on the special app. Yeah, I know it'll be there. Don't worry. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> an hour hi hi well everybody thank you i'm I'm gonna i'm trying to hi 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 i'm trying to like all of y'all how's it going okay well it was yes this has been a fun week hi oh, madeline period right because we've seen a ton of great jewelry already and i'm really excited to see you catch up with you and but also see all your new pieces so i'm just trying to i think sorry um okay. I haven't been used to, um, I'm going to move this ar away from me a little bit. Is that better? Yes, I love that. Okay. You still can't see all the jewelry that I have lined up, but that's okay. It's over to over there. Yes. Okay. Hi, everyone. <laughs> Sorry about this. Yes. Okay. There I can see. Oh, I can see necklaces now. Okay. Hi. Hi, Madeline. Yes. Hi. Hi, welcome. Please tell everybody who you are. I am Suzanne Schwartz of Suzanne Schwartz Jewelry. Welcome. And I um, make jewelry. I mostly work in silver um, and gold. I do a lot of um, playing with the colors of bright silver, oxidized silver, and 22 karat gold. And I do a lot of stitching in my jewelry. So, just grabbing. I love this. So, sorry, I have to find the camera. Um, so if you can see it, those little lines, what I do is I take 22 karat gold wire and I put it through little holes that I kind of plan out. Um, so that's the stitching in 22 karat. And then mm. here's a good one to see it on. So they're actually just functional. Not, they're functional stitch. They're not functional stitching. They're more an aesthetic or an adornment. They really are. They're all aesthetic. I don't want to put together the jewelry with the stitching because I don't want it. I don't feel like it would be strong enough. I mean, you know, the stitches are really strong. But it's right. over a long time where I, I know exactly what you're talking about. Yeah, just, you know, it's it's thinner wire. So to, to hang something. So this is, you know, this is really strong. I mean, I can push this and it's not, oops, push this and it's not going to move or anything. But, yeah. you know, to put oh, it together with a stitch. Hey, come mm -hmm. closer. Come show us more of that. What is that? <laughs> Back over here. <laughs> oh, so yeah. This what is, is kind of a signature earring of mine, which goes with a necklace, which... I don't have right now. I just uh, sold uh, the last one I had. So this is a kinetic earring. Nice. Oh, I love they're perfect. That is perfect. Hi, man. Yeah. And this one you can tell it's uh it's really a big version. So I did a small one. But even this big version, I once did in a clip. I've done actually twice in a clip earring now. I think that'd be perfect for a clip. Yeah, I make this a little bit taller. So the ear doesn't, you know, pop out a bit and solid but yeah that's so cute okay thank you so you have that that's kind of like a bigger like three inch or more 3.5 inch earring oh megan you know that i'm gonna say three inches but we know it's 3.5 because we know how good you are <laughs> <laughs> it's like you're so good I, I don't know i'm like uh okay with the dimension, even from this, like I just had a customer who color, she was amazing with um, telling color even through Zoom. Isn't that, isn't that awesome? Yeah, yeah, we were putting together pearls. Oh, I love that. Oh, yes, putting together pearls, especially pearls are so hard. 
they, but the yeah. sense to actually get the color right is yeah you, okay we're definitely gonna touch on i want to Okay, so you do all these mixed metals, but you also do pearls. So we're going to touch everything. But I feel like we should start with some of the basics, which are those great, like some of your more classic earrings, the stitch work, the more geometrics, some of these new, I love some of these, lots of new geometrics. So this is a real classic um, stitched earring. Can you see or is there too much reflection? No, it's good. I think also... Okay. It a little bit is great it helps okay um so um this is a this is my best selling earring and this is a three layer earring but it can make four different earrings so this is one that it can make and then you can take off the back piece and hello okay yes nice make two pieces or you can wear it separately um or you can make it into playing within the back here, an all black earring. Oh, okay. So you like took the middleman out. Yep. Mm -hmm. Like cut the middleman. Okay. So oh, I like that. Oh, there it is. Yes. And then I, um, you know, I have different versions of it. So I have it with a a gold middle middleman. Of course, I was like, you have to have it with gold. The black, black and gold, you do quite a bit, or like a mix, like the three colors of. The shiny yeah. or a matte silver, the gold, and then like the oxidized. Yep. And like this is a new piece. Here I can take it off. Um, oh, I love but... this. Noticing that. Ooh, what is this? So this is, I, so from the square earring, all these squares, you know, kind of next to each other, um, I, I decided to, this I think might be better on black. I decided to make, I got curious with teeny squares and how could I make, um, teeny, can you teeny, see that? Yes, teeny squares. I love you. Teeny have squares. Yes. So each one of those squares I've taken and I've made, I've fabricated and then each one has a little stitch and then they're attached in the back to the piece um, like this. Oh, okay. So that, thank you for showing us the back. So explain that a little bit. What's happening? So the back, because I take, um, so this is, this is one of those little stitches. Ah, can't do it. Um, <laughs> you're doing, I'm going to show you one. Sorry. Ah. So I make a little square and I put it on a little stem sort of like this earring, and then I put it in the hole that I drill, and mm -hmm. then the back is actually that stem, but I come at it with just really um, high heat, and so it makes it into little balls on the end. It kind of melts it into a little ball, and I make it nice and tight. Actually, this one, I do the balls because it has black on it, oxidized. When black oxidized hits heat, it comes off, so I do it on ice cubes actually. Oh, cool. So. Oh, okay. Ooh, wait, so you do those, and so they all does that mean all the little squares have like a little bit of movement because they're, yeah, okay, they do. You can't really see, okay, but... just a, that's a nice little feature that's a touch of movement because I would fiddle with it quite a bit, yeah, mm hmm. Okay, yeah. so. so these new squares so you have the squares little are you doing more pieces like that pendant that yes i am so i have the earring that i just showed you and then i actually want to make um i'm in the process you can see a, a cocktail ring with all the little um all the little squares and then i have bracelets oh i would oh okay definitely okay we need to do bracelets yes love your bracelets <laughs> I feel like you, I'm like, I'm, I definitely was in stories like we need, they're like, feel like Wonder Woman. I, yeah, uh, the I don't Wonder know Woman why, one like, is powerful, powerful. Yeah, this is uh, the Wonder Woman one is, of course, I didn't bring it into my studio. Um, this is perfect. This is very, this is like, you know, jeans, Wonder Woman. Yeah, yes, exactly. 
So this is Jean's woman, Wonder Woman. And can you tell how many inches this one is? Uh, about three. No, 2.5. This one's two. And then the big, big one is three. So that's the one that um, you posted today. Yes. <laughs> I was just wondering. I was like, you know, I'm going to be like, you know, I've got a hidden ruler. Even on, on this table is a ruler hidden. There are rulers hidden everywhere in my studio. <laughs> There have to be for when you lose them. Yeah, sure. They need to measure things all the time. Okay, that's nice for me to see, though. You know, that's like a nice substantial. Three inches of big, but the two is great. The two is that's great. And then I even have some that are one. And then these come off. They just, they're really firm. So people get scared to slip them off, but they just open up and close. Just okay. hammered. Explain this. So it's sterling silver or what what is that made out of so this is made out of argentium silver which, I, I, yeah. I've learned I've learned it because I've been using a little bit for some of my squares the there it's it's a great silver I love it it has a brighter white color and mm -hmm. took out a sheet it has a brighter white color than um sterling I love it on the, your pieces. Yeah. And then it's highly tarnish resistant. It also, you can fuse mm -hmm. things to it. So you don't, you know, so that's always fun. And you can also harden it um, in the oven at 525 degrees. But okay. Oh, yes. yes. Well, I didn't know that part. Okay. Interesting. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So um, that's a it's... Good Good metalsmith nerd stuff right there. Yeah. yeah, so it's um it's a great metal. And then the other um, so this just to show you some of the fused. So yes, I want to see because okay, so you're using it. Mul Ooh, is this kind of process one. What's that? Is this a little bit in process? No, this oh. one is the torn piece. Yes, with gem gemmies. Yeah. yeah, I don't do uh, that many gems. But so this one, this has 22 karat gold that I fused to the argentium. And you can see the silver is just like more white than regular silver. Mm -hmm. um, and so then it fused gold to that too. Okay, so it fuses. That's nice. Yeah. And then this is all stitched in here. And then the stone, which is set in 22 karat gold. What's the stone? Like what, how did it's you- It's a moonstone. The moonstone, okay, beautiful. Cause it's very neutral with the, you know, it, it blends beautifully with the metals and the opalescence or the, the finish you're achieving with the silver. Yeah, I mean, um, moonstones, if I put it on a black background, it would have gone, um, it would have showed like the iridescent blues in it. And it was actually for a show um, at Aaron Faber gallery that focused on moonstones and bluestones but I took it and because I'm I'm not a big color person um, I took it and just tried to make it kind of more um, natural so it's another way that I used it with the stitching so I like seeing this this yes I love this piece this kind of has like this 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 is great for Valentine's Day it is it is like a heart that one you need to be posting that one up on your on your insta Oh, for the you, or, yes, <laughs> you know, mm -hmm. yeah, <laughs> cute. But that's Perfect. the heart. Unintentional, but like, yes. <laughs> Do you ever <laughs> see unintentional shapes in your uh, jewelry? Totally. Like some good, some bad. Yes. Oh, and my sister is like the master of this. She's like figurative. She's like that's Buddha with two women on the side. That's. Da -da -da. I'm like what. I have to watch for that in your jewelry. I don't know if I could, uh, I, I gotta see that Buddha with the sister. <laughs> but she's like, she's very, this is, she's very visual. She's, she's artist too. So I'm like, this is, it's interesting, but I'm like, whoa, okay. I don't, I'm like very abstract. I'm like, I see triangles. <laughs> yep. Mm-hmm. Right. Yeah. I see yeah. math. Yeah. She's, oh, she's here. Cool. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> but yes, Hi. but for me, I just saw that in your work. And I was like, oh, because I don't feel like you do you, you don't do really figurative work either, and you do do more 
gray tones, mixed metals, oxidized, kind of like a mixed together. It's not all, it's not all monochromatic either. No, um, I like lines. I mean, the stitch is basically me drawing, yeah. you know, but with the lines, when I used to doodle in like school, you know, of all of my school, it would just be lines in some kind of like odd pattern. And that's what, you know, that's what, um, can you see this? So that's what, you know, this is, and it Ooh. might look like I just kind of put them randomly in, but uh, this bracelet, actually, I want the stitch to go a certain way. So I will pull it out. Um, you know, if I don't like the stitch and I'll pull out quite a few of them. Inside of that? Sure. Like, does that go a certain, like when you're stitching it, you have a whole thing about how the inside's gonna look too, because it's all connected, right? Um, I mostly want the inside, um, I want the inside to be clean. So that's the biggest part. You know, I don't want it to be yeah, like that. messy. This so, is meant to, but to, but to do that, took some thought behind the, you, you know what I mean? There was pre, there was intention behind this. Yes. Uh-huh. And I do when on the inside, I don't like the inside to ha to go too far. Mm, I love, you know, it. because then it can pull also, but I'll pull my stitches really tight. Like I'll stretch the, the metal so and the stitches are fine silver. So they really keep their color too. Yeah. The fine silver is also tarnish resistant as well. So that's a nice, blend with the argentium which is a little bit grayer mm -hmm. just a touch right okay cool. yeah yeah uh-huh so so those are there um also the earrings you're wearing oh, right these are yeah this is part of a collection that um is in the works and this is the um the edge collection Yes, but with that gold like color blocked on the bottom or yeah, so that's kombu. And then the edge, can you see that there is all stitched with 22 karat gold. And then oh, the back has a price. So I have to take that off. Is it just stitch on the top part? What's that? It's just stitch on the top part. The top. Yeah. Part. Ooh, okay, nice. Yeah. And doing for the post. So the post is here, the price is going to be on it. So here is the post. Oh, nice. And, and then you can see, you know, the stitching on the back. And then I made um, actually a really teeny earring. I like the dark. Yeah. Those For a customer. Your face really. Oh, look at this minis. It's a mini. I haven't stitched this one yet, but you can see the. I should put this one on black. Oh, this is before you put the stitching and you've placed all the little holes. So you have. Yeah. Yeah. So can you see the holes? Yeah. If you turn it a little bit, we're getting a little bit of glare. You just keep turning it a little bit. Yeah. I see it right there a little bit better. Yes. I see it. In... Mm -hmm. um, shape to it. You know, it's not, it's never going to be flat. Oh, that's really glaring. So you, you put a little curve in there because those other ones that you were wearing, they have a slight curve as well. Yeah, these have a slight curve. I love, I don't know, it's, these were actually um, inspired by a mountain range. <laughs> really? Oh, <laughs> yes. 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 <laughs> okay. Like, I would just turn it on its side and that'd be like my... I, I mean, I know that sounds silly. It's like the, you know, um, no. but... They were, it was, it was from like this mountain range, um, actually in Israel that I drove by and it was, you know, kind of a couple years of thinking, how can I, wh how am I going to put that into my jewelry? I like so. that. It turned out, it feels like a little bit of a wave too, or it has yeah. a little softness too. It's not just hollow. Yeah. And then there's a mid-size one too. Ooh, do you have that too? I don't have it actually. <laughs> it's just <laughs> so. What's that size about? Um, it's a little bit different shape, and it is about an inch and a quarter. So because this is big, you know, I usually start big because I like big, and then 
I scale down. Yeah. Yeah, I know. I mean, I like big too. Then I'm like, okay, I'm going to be like this. Big. Yeah. So that would probably be, okay, this is like me shopping, what, like 2.5? <laughs> I think so. It might be a hair more. Yeah. 2.75. Yeah, that's nice, right? Yeah. And yeah. I love it goes into your face so beautifully and the gold is... Yeah, because you have that with your, well, I'm thinking about the one. I love the one that you know what I'm doing. Always. Yes, I always yes. do this because I think it looks more, especially when you're going vertical versus like a circle. When you're going vertical, it's nice to have that little curve because your face. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, even my, um, all my earrings I make really for the, you know, with the, so it curves into the face. You know, this one too it's like, subtle oh, love these this is the s more stitched work. yeah and this is the big version there's of course a smaller version but yeah i like that top part the way yeah. the little post there has that movement still right that's a post on that one it yeah. is yes but you do a lot of okay so you do a lot of post earrings you also do those as non-pierced I have done, that. yeah, that'll be a special order. Okay, you know. I feel like I feel like they would translate well, some of those, especially that new, smaller size of the new mountain range one. Yes, yeah, that's, that'll definitely. That's a good, like. Mm-hmm, yeah. yeah. This is, yeah. so this is the more stitched, like the, a little bit bigger? Yes, a lot bigger, oh. yeah. <laughs> a lot bigger. But I do, I will actually, um, ear wires I'm doing more of. So here is, um, oh, yes. Oh, yes, ear wire. Hold on. This needs black. I threw it on the floor. And this is part of another new necklace that I'm oh, hello. wearing. So these are stitched with gold. Mm. And that's the large version. And then there's kind of a small, more curvy. And I started to get into hanging earrings. They're really um, comfortable. They are. I feel like they're easy to pop on and off for like a meeting, like a quick one hour Zoom meeting. Okay, really cute. Those are a great size. Yeah, these really Those are. are. Yeah. Perfect size for everybody. Mm -hmm. Yes. And then I, I'm playing with a necklace and I did it in uh, color. So this is... Um, can wear this a few different ways. I'm just gonna fold it up. So this, Ooh. I oxidized it and did it in gold. I want to try it in silver too. Is that okay? So explain how that one works. Is that like a lariat? Mm-hmm. And you can wear it, you know, a whole bunch of different ways. So you can um, wear it long. You know, you can put it together and wear it. Shorter, not gonna do it right. I'm excited because I'm like, Ooh, okay, yes. Yeah, I don't have my camera the correct way there. So can you see oh. it? I have this other necklace on. Okay, that's great. So that like 16 and then it drops down perfect. Yeah, this one is uh, 32 inches, I think. So, can't see it. yes. This is beautiful, so organic, yes. Yes. Very wearable. I feel like people can wear it also long or like loop it, okay. I've been getting into, and really like, you know, some longer uh, jewelry. It's just this, I think especially just, um, it's very casual and it's really easy. And yeah. then it's nice that you can wear it with, you know, another piece. But the option to wear it short too, that you give people these kind of like, you can wear it this way, this way, this. I, I love options. That, me too. I love that. I think it really, it, it works. Yeah. Okay. We are, we have like five, seven minutes. So I want to make sure we hit pearls. Okay. Right. Cause, and any new earrings. I don't think we saw all the circle earrings. I know you have a like bigger, like new, more, uh, very here. open air ones. Yes. I love these. You, these are, yeah. These I made for, there's always one I make for me. Yes. So everyone... this is the huge hoop. And then 
And I have this in gold as well with a gold top and oxidized bottom. And then these are stitched in a way. Can you see the small one? Yes. Okay, there's a perfect. I love the two sizes. Um, and um, I'll put the big one on. And these are stitched in that this uh, rope chain is stitched through the top and then through the bottom as well. Oh, I love that. And they move really nice too. Yes. They do. And they're so light. Um, they're just great. And with a mask, you just pop them out and they have, you know, swing. So. Oh, those are really easy. Those are not too big. Three inches on those, you said? A, a hair. Beautiful. They're about. Yeah, about. Are those great. So those come in all the all the options too right no ju only two choices okay. so this has a gold little top i don't have it here and then the oxidized rope and then this what the circle is oxidized as well oh okay so there's like a okay so two tone everything is two tone it is yeah yeah i yeah. like well you made a decision i like that because i feel like a lot of people buy that too and then you know you have Oh, that one's the gold one. So here it is uh, with gold, but also this comes apart. Oh, so you can wear it. It comes apart. Yes. Separate. The little is so cute, right? Okay, because I have extra holes, so I would be like, I need all of them. Oh, we could all squares. <laughs> boom, 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 boom. Yes. But like different <laughs> sizes all mixed up together. Yeah, yeah. And okay. then here I made a little bigger one too. Okay, so, so you got the square in the circle and then the circle in the circle. And then, you know, other versions. So, you know, great hanging earring. Uh, there. Mm. So, is that a wire on that one? Yes. Yeah. Ism, I like to see that. Okay. Ooh, that's a new one. I like that. Yeah, this is just a great, this has been a, it's a great, easy earring. Yeah, and so it's the wire. And then that's the back. Really cute. There you go. Full classic. And you do that also with the gold too, I'm guessing? I do, with the gold and the bright silver. Yeah, because um, it's just such great earring. And then separate, you know, just as a, as a stud um, as well. And then here, I'll show you some pearls quickly before we end. Yes, I, de I, I definitely posted the pearls because I feel like you do some special pearl pieces. I love pearls, which I know you love too. The pearl. I want to go through my pearl draw with you. I know. Ooh, you have drawers with me too. I have drawers. <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> so this one, and I'll put it on too, but this yeah. is, it's hard to tell. So you can see I'm going to, ooh, look at that reflect. Look at those pearls reflecting the light because they have such luster. Right? So, and they, it's like soak it up. The actual ring light is like. Hmm. Oh, that's why it looks like that. The ring light. Yeah. Funny because I tried. Okay. I tried to photograph some pearls recently and that was my problem. I'm like, okay, that's weird. So oh, somebody's sending hearts. Um, so it goes on and you kind of straighten it out. Ooh, that's perfect. cool. I love seeing how the clasp goes because it feels like it would almost clasp here, but it, I like that it's back in the back. That was originally how I intended it, but then I realized if I did it like that, the pearls wouldn't stay where I want them. And I mean, the pearls, like if it's, if one of the pearls is not aligned, oops, is not aligned a little bit, then I'll, you know, cut it and, and move it. So that's to just fall. You're, you're always, so every time you're doing this, everybody's going to get special pearls, but they'll, it, you can pick out, right, kind of? You can. I mean, I'll either put it together or I've done a lot, especially this holiday season where we've put together colors and made, you know, different color combinations based yeah. on what someone, you know, wanted. So, oh, yeah. Yeah. So I... I don't have, I make one with five white pearls and that's my strongest selling one. And I just shipped out the last one today. Um, well, not the last one, but well, make sure you to know, the last made one. What? 
we'll maybe have it for Monday for our presentation. Oh, absolutely. Okay, we're having, okay, so everybody, we're gonna be, we're gonna make sure we see maybe like one or two more earrings before we go. Sure. I know, do you have pearl earrings too? And I do. But here, I'm just putting this, it on. Love this piece. I also this one it. isn't, it's not for everyone, but. Yeah, but it's gorgeous. And the color of those pearls. Yeah, the, these colors. So this one, um, so on too. I feel like we need to take some pictures of you with this on. <laughs> I have, I mean, this is, you know, I have plenty. This one is, I, it's the only piece I've made actually for me, you know, especially for me. So this is um, the long uh, earring with the white pearl. And this one actually is on an ear wire. A customer had me make it this way and now I'm in love with it. Um, so you can see, so that's a baroque oh, pearl. Yeah. Oh, not, again, kind of like a soft rounded shape. Yeah, I really love the drop. I love um, this one right here. Oh, I love this one too, with the yellow. Yeah, and I, I, I was really just talking about the pearl. So this is like the shorter, um, oh, the I shorter love version. And then the trapezoid kind of with that rough cut pearl. Yeah, it's oh. rough cut. Rough. <laughs> yeah, rough. Um, this rough. one has just beautiful. My last few batches of pearls have been incredible. And um, this is a this is a pearl I've been playing around with. It's a hinge pearl. Ooh, so kind of a little bit different shape. Yeah, and I'll make a different. I just tried it. Actually, I had customers who wanted it on this, so that's what this is left over from, but I've been trying it on um, other pearls, you know, other um, forms as well. So that's that, okay. a, that, a new pearl. Forward to potentially in the future, some new collections, some new pearls, some new shit. This is beautiful on you, I have to say. Also, you look great with your sweater. This color of the pearls looks really good with your sweater. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> <laughs> no, but it does, right? Well, the pearls, especially, I mean, even white ones, but depending on the light, um, they change color, mm -hmm. you know, Love inside it. or outside. Oh, at, yeah. Up things. Yeah, at a show, I mean, I'll have people, wa I'll say, walk outside and see the color, you know? Natural light is way different, totally. Yeah. Oh, so. I love Suzanne, what a pleasure. Oh, it's always a pleasure, Megan. So, thanks so much for sharing your new pieces. I love hearing that so many great things are sold and you have like some new things on the horizon and we're very excited to check in with you on Monday for some more. So yeah, you, know, you could RSVP with us. Thank you. Yeah, we're looking forward to seeing you. Thank you, Megan. Good yes. night, everyone. Thanks for uh, tuning in. Yay, happy Thursday. Woo, woo, woo. Yeah. Bye, honey. <laughs>